Hey everybody, Mr. Mangatash here, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about safe mode on the new Apple Silicon Macs. Apple has changed the way that you get into safe mode compared to Intel Macs. I'm gonna go over all those changes, and then I'm gonna talk about why you would ever need to boot your Mac into safe mode. So let's jump in. So and what is started. safe mode? Apple says that starting up your Mac in safe mode can help you determine whether issues you're experiencing are caused by the software that loads as your Mac starts up. Now this is a real important troubleshooting step if you're having trouble getting your Mac to boot into macOS properly. This could be caused by a bad third-party kernel extension, a third-party system extension, third-party launch daemon, or launch agent. These are all things that load when macOS is started up that could cause issues with your Mac getting all the way into macOS. It could stall at the loading progress bar, it could reboot, all these different issues. When you start up your Mac in safe mode, it disables all of those pieces. So if you're able to boot your Mac up into macOS, booting into safe mode, then you know that it's one of those software pieces that have been installed that's causing your startup issues. Now that you know what safe mode is, let's talk about how to get into it on Apple Silicon. Again, it is changed on Apple Silicon compared with Intel devices. On Intel devices, all you did was click the power button and hold down shift until you saw the loading progress bar. The Apple Silicon, it's different. So let's jump right in and show you the changes here. I've got my Apple Silicon device here sitting here. We're gonna use my capture device so you can see what's going on here. So I'm gonna power it on. The starting way to get into safe mode is you first have to load into the startup utility or the boot picker or the recovery menu on Apple Silicon. The way to do that is just turn your Mac off so it's totally off, then hold down the power button and then you'll see a menu bar come up and it'll say, continue holding startup options, keep, keep holding it. And then when the next thing says loading startup options, you can let go of the key. This is the Apple Silicon boot picker or the recovery selection menu. When you see this, you see the options and when you click on this and you can click continue, that'll bring you into macOS recovery. If you clicked on this, obviously it's gonna boot you right into Mac OS uh, operating system straight from this picker. But to get into safe mode, all we need to do is hold down shift. And then you'll see that the selection screen has changed to continue in safe mode. Keep holding that down, bring your mouse over it and then click on that and you'll see that it starts to spin. The Mac is going to now reboot and then boot you all the way up into safe mode. Now keep in mind, this is again, totally different than Intel. On Intel, you just you held down shift and then it continued to boot all the way up to into the login window. So there's multiple different steps here that we have to take. So here it is, it's booting up here. I'm gonna show you how to confirm that the whole thing worked. And it did. When you look up here in the menu bar, right up here by the, by the clock, you'll notice that it does say safe boot in red. When you see that, you know that the system has booted up without any launch daemons, third party kernel extensions, or any kind of software that's loaded onto the system. And you can log in and you can start troubleshooting. Now, keep in mind, the system might be a little bit laggy because it doesn't have all the things that it needs to boot, and so it won't act totally normal that you would expect it to when it's booted into safe mode. To get all out of safe mode, all you need to do is click restart, and that's it, and then you're out of safe mode. I hope this helped. It was a quick overview of how to get into safe mode. If this video created value for you, consider liking this video and subscribing for my channel for more of these videos in the future. We'll talk to you in the next one.